Hello my darlings. Today on my channel, I am going to show you how to create an under the sea aquarium baby boy diaper cake. Stay tuned. So this project has a lot of moving parts to it. As such, I will be leaving all of the supplies in the description box below. For this project, you will need some diapers. I am using size six. You will need some wooden fish. You will need some wooden letters that are going to spell out baby boy. You are going to need some small craft rubber bands. You will need also some wooden dowels. You will also need some sea creatures. I got mine out of the Christmas section at Hobby Lobby. You will need some spray paint. I'm using the shimmer metallic blue. You will need some sand. You will need some glitter, a shade of blue, as well as some iridescent white. You will need some metallic blue acrylic paint. You will need four 11 by 14 picture frames and you will need a topper for your diaper cake. I am using this blue sailboat. You will also need some stencils, excuse me, for your waves. I cut mine freehand. And of course, you will need your handy dandy tools. Let's get crafting. So the first thing we are going to do is prepare our frames. Now what you're going to do is you're going to release the cardboard backing using these little tabs from your frame. You're going to pop that out, remove your backing, remove the sample picture, discard those. You're going to take your glass out and set this aside for later use. And then finally, you are going to take either a wire cutter or your pliers and pull out these little tabs. I'm going to complete this process for the other three of my frames and then I'll be back to tell you what our next step is. So now that we have prepared all four of our frames, what we are going to do now is start to glue them together. And to do this, we're going to use a very familiar step here on our channel. And we're going to prepare our frames using a combination of E6000 glue and hot glue. Again, that E6000 glue gives us our permanent adhesion over time and our hot glue will give us an immediate adhesion so that we can continue working so as you can see I'm just going down the side of my frame with a few pellets of that e6000 glue and then on top of that e6000 foundation I am going to go in with my hot glue gun in a similar fashion putting down some pellets of hot glue and then I am going to glue my frames together. Now, very patiently, I am going to make sure the glue has engaged between both of those frames by applying pressure. And then I am going to turn it around so that I can see it to ensure that those corners have been lined up for a seamless adhesion. I'm going to prepare and glue the other two sides and then I'll be back to tell you the next step. So now that our frames have been put together and have been allowed to dry, what we're going to do now using a foam board that I got from the Dollar Tree is we are going to cut out the bottom or a portion of it rather to create the bottom of our aquarium and the reason why we're going to need a bottom for our aquarium is we're actually going to line the bottom of this aquarium with sand and so now to do this i am just using first of all the two commercial edges of that foam board which saves me some cutting and then i am penciling in or tracing the other two edges which will give me the straight edges that I need to cut out and to do this I am going to use my rotary cutter just 
by tracing along that very line that we traced not tracing or rather not cutting on the inside not cutting that line on the outside but cutting that line right on top of it and like I said in a previous video please when you're using your rotary knife be very careful because these rotary blades are very sharp and as you can see I'm moving on to my second cut this one is a bit tricky simply because there is not much left on that other side because I used that poster board to cut out my cover for our aquarium but as you can see just with one pass that foam board is being cut and now I'm going to take off that piece and then I'm going to show you by bringing up our frame that what we have here is what's going to become the bottom of our aquarium. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to take our frames outside not the foam board just the frame and i'm going to spray this using our krylon shimmer metallic blue so while we're waiting for our spray paint to dry on our frames we are going to prepare the dowels that we're going to need to hold our letters and our wooden fish and to do this i am simply going to glaze my dowels in some Mod Podge by rolling it around in that glue. I'm going to shake off or tap off any excess and then I'm going to bring it over and just simply roll it around in the glitter, making sure that all of that glue has been covered up. Once I have gotten my dowel covered in that glitter, I'm simply going to set it on a side to dry and continue with the process. I'm going to do one more for you to see. I'm just holding that dowel by the end of it, glazing it with my Mod Podge. Once that dowel has been completely bathed or covered in that Mod Podge, I am going to do the same with the glitter and just roll that dowel around in the glitter making sure to cover all of the glued parts once i have done that i will just set it on a side to dry and then i'm going to complete the other dowels i'm going to need about 13 of them six of them for the words actually seven of them for the words baby boy and six more for the wooden fish that we're going to be using so while we wait for our dowels to dry what we're going to do now is we are going to prepare our letters and the letters are going to spell out baby boy now to do this i am going to use the same mod podge that we use for our dowels just to ensure that we are not wasting anything and this time i am using a paintbrush to paint that glue on making sure i am covering that letter with even strokes and once I have covered that entire letter with that Mod Podge I am simply going to take my glitter container and literally smother that letter with glitter I'm going to continue the process with my letter B and what I didn't necessarily do with the Y I should have said what I will do with the B and the other letters is I'm also going to get some glue on the inside and the outside of those letters so that we will be able to cover up or create enough surface area with that glue so all aspects of that letter will be covered up so here I am smothering the B and then I'm going to go back to check the Y of course I know it's not dried yet but just so that you can see what I'm going to do just checking for any empty spots and if they are I'm going to take my brush put down another layer of that glue cover it with any loose glitter that is there 
And once I have done that, it is simply going to be a matter of once that glitter has dried, going over that glitter and glazing it so that as we work with these letters later, our glitter does not fall off. And again, I'm just doing this now to show you what that process would look like, but I'm fully aware that that glitter has not yet dried, much less set. And so as you can see, I'm going to have a paintbrush that is full of glitter. So I'm going to continue this process with all of the other letters. I'm going to fix my Y and then I'll be back. So now what I'm going to show you is how we are going to prepare our diapers to have them to sit on top of our cake. And to do this, we are going to start from the opened section and we are going to simply roll that diaper in on itself. Once we have made a tiny or rather a neat roll, we're going to take one of those tiny rubber bands and simply wrap it around and center it. So again, Again, we are going to start from the open end of the diaper, roll it in on itself about three or four times, take a rubber band, put it over, center it, place it in the middle, and then we are going to take our baby ribbon and we are going to wrap it around our diaper making sure to conceal that rubber band now we only need to do this for the diapers that are going to be on the outer edge of our diaper cake and those that sit in between or on the inside rather that rubber band will suffice so once I have placed my ribbon it's just a matter of setting it to dry and completing it for the rest of the diapers that we will use so now that our paint has dried what we are going to do now is place our glass back inside of our frames and to do this we are simply going to use a foundation of e6000 glue going all the way around the inside of that frame and then on top of that foundation of e6000 glue we are going to repeat the same process with pellets of hot glue before we place our glass in. So I'm going to repeat this process using my hot glue, making sure not to use too much because when we put that glass down, we do not want any glue seeping out on the outside. But once I have placed my hot glue going all the way around my frame, all I'm going to have to do now is take that glass, feed it through one of the open sides, get it into position, set it down in place, and then apply some pressure, not much because we won't want that glass to break, and leave it to dry for a few minutes. I'm going to continue the process with my other three glasses and then I'll be back to show you what it looks like. So here we have our aquarium with all of our glasses put back in. And as you can see, I took some blue diamond wrap and I just etched around the edges of those glasses to cover up where that E6000 glue and that hot glue was showing through that glass. Now what we're going to do is we are going to adhere our foam board, which is going to become the bottom of our aquarium to our frames. And we're going to do this simply by using our hot glue on that foam board going all the way around. Now because we're working with 11 by 14 frames, which is a big size, we kind of have to move relatively quickly because what you do not want is for that glue to cool and to seize up on you before you have an opportunity to place your frames on top of it. And so here I am placing the aquarium on top of our base or rather our frame foundation on top of our base to make our aquarium. 
and here I am just trying to find my placement moving it as much as I can before that hot glue sets and applying a little pressure to it now because that foam board that we used was white I am simply going to take some blue metallic metallic excuse me acrylic paint and I'm going to just paint the edge of that foam board there is no need to paint the inside of it simply because once we're ready to build this and put it all together the inside or the bottom of our aquarium will be covered with sand so i'm just going to continue this process going all the way around our aquarium painting the white edge of that foam board and then I'll be back to tell you what our next step is. So here is the top of our aquarium and what we are going to do now is we're going to using our soldering iron not turned on just for the pointy end of it we are going to poke holes into that foam board and the reason why we're poking holes into that foam board is because we are going to use these holes to thread our sea creatures that we're going to be hanging in our aquarium now what i have done is using the thread or the loop that already came with these ornaments i left them on and i simply added that invisible thread to it i did not take off the loop from the ornaments and then hang invisible thread on it i just added it to what was already there and as you can see all i did was i threaded that invisible thread through one of those holes that we just created with our soldering iron and here i am deciding how low or how high i would like mr octopus to hang once i have decided where i want him to be placed i am going to take my invisible tape transparent tape rather i have the word invisible thread in my head but my transparent tape and i am going to tape down that transparent tape on the outside to make sure that mr octopus does not move and then i'm going to take another piece making x and that just ensures that he is locked into place now I'm, I'm going to do the same thing for Mr. Shark. <laughs> Just deciding which hole I would like to thread him to, where in the aquarium I would want him to sit. And once I have threaded his thread through that hole, it is simply a matter of deciding, do I want him to be a bottom feeder? Do I want him to be mid depth do i want him to be high up in the open and close quotation marks water <laughs> once i have found his placement it is simply a matter of getting my transparent tape down and locking him into place i'm going to find the placement for our other creatures and then i'll be back so here we have our aquarium that we're almost finished with and what we're going to do now is we are going to place our sand that is going to cover the base of that aquarium i am using one and a half bottles you could get away with using the two but remember you do not want to weigh down the foundation of your aquarium too much of course if you're moving it after the fact because that foam board is only affixed to those frames with one layer of hot glue in addition to my sand i'm also putting about half of a small bottle of iridescent white glitter into that sand and then i'm going to take a pot spoon and just mix it in so that when we place our lights 
you will be able to see the gleam and glitter of that glitter and already you can see it if not looking straight on into it but if looking on the back glass of that aquarium you can see how beautiful that glitter is already now that we have done that it is now time to take our cover and put it into place with all of our creatures that we have hung and as you can see I have already added my lights just two push lights that I adhere adhered to the top of our cover with the adhesive backing that it came with and some daubs of hot glue and now just to keep this in place to make sure that while we're working on top it is not going to shimmy or move around i am just putting a few dollops of hot glue at the four corners to ensure that our top will stay in place while we work of course it is not permanent if you're ready when you're ready at the end of your event it is simply a matter of popping the top off turning the lights off taking the ornaments out if you so desire once we have placed the hot glue and applied some pressure to that top we are now going to place our wave templates or wave pattern in place to cover the top or the edge rather of that foam board and this is why we are not painting the edge of the top cover of that foam board like we did the bottom and so I'm just going to continue this going all the way around placing my waves making sure that my pattern the waves are all falling in the same direction and once I am finished laying my waves I will be back to tell you what is next so here we have all of the diapers that we have placed on top making sure to leave a section empty in the middle and what we're going to use that section for is we're going to use that section to place our sailboat or whatever topper that you choose to use now if i were to set that sailboat down in there without the help of this glass vase we wouldn't be able to see it and so i am just placing a few dollops of hot glue on the edges of that vase and placing it it in that empty space created by not putting any diapers there once I have placed my vase in that space turned upside down I am now going to take a few beads of glue and likewise glue that boat down to the vase now as you see here that glue did not meet and so instead of gluing the boat to the vase I have chosen instead to put a few dollops of hot glue onto the edges of that vase and then place the glue in it now what I'm going to do is look to see if there's any more places where I can add a few more diapers in there and once I have I'm going to clean up look for any glue fronds and then I will be back to show you what our next step is so here we have the top of our diaper cake so far and as you can see I've added some additional waves just sticking them in between the diapers and I have also placed our letters that spell out baby boy. Now what I'm going to do is just simply show you how easy it is to take that dowel and place it in the fold or in the roll of one of your diapers now I am actually placing the dolphin looking back or backwards because what you want depending on how interactive you want to make this diaper cake if you want people to look at it from 
all the way around, you will have to, of course, make it appealing to those who are looking at it from the front, those who are looking at it from the side, those who are looking at it from the back. And so I am just placing our wooden fish in different positions so that you will be able to get some part of this interactive aquarium no matter how you look at it. Well, my darlings, here you have it. Our under the sea aquarium baby boy diaper cake. Isn't it awesome? Listen, I especially like how the creatures of the deep are dangling so whimsically from the top of our aquarium as if suspended in midair. On top of that, I also enjoy how that sand is glistening with the help of that iridescent glitter that we placed in it. Now, unlike a traditional diaper cake, I truly enjoy the whimsy as well as the functionality of this cake as we are still presenting our new mother-to-be and our new baby boy with a set of diapers that she will be sure to need when baby boy gets here. Of course, the whimsy of that sailboat as well as the sea creatures that are dancing around it is sure to make any mother to be smile from ear to ear now imagine your guests as well when you present this and you say to them this was not bought actually this was a DIY and so if you have found any value in this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as leave me a comment in the comment section below how would you use this when would you use this also do you plan on replicating this is a shower in your near future I would love to hear from you to my Danny's darlings, I would just like to tell you as usual and as always, thank you for your comments, your questions, your love, your encouragement. Please know that I appreciate each and every one of you. If you are not yet a Danny's darling and you would like to join our ever growing community of DIYers, we would like to humbly ask you to consider subscribing to our channel today day as well as pressing that notification bell to ensure that you will be among the first to know when one of our videos is released my darlings before i sign off today i am going to leave you with the motto to our channel which is simply this why buy when you can DIY. And so my darlings, my loves, until next time, please take care of yourselves for me. Know that I love you all. <laughs> Bye now.